This is Rachel. I'm back with vlog number three. I know I seem happy. I'm happy because I'm eating. I'm hungry. I love to eat. But, um, I'm doing, I guess, like a little mukbang slash vlog slash discussion. Like I normally do. But, um, this is my vlog number three for my theater class. And today we're going to be talking about theater etiquette. And, um, a lot of times, um, I noticed lately in the past few years, a lot of people don't have theater etiquette. And I'm not just saying for, like, plays, but also movies, because, um, I actually just saw a movie recently. It was called Slender Man. The movie was horrible, but we ain't, we're not about to get into that. But, um, I know, like, when I was in the movie theater, a whole bunch of, I was in there with a whole bunch of, um, middle schoolers, and they were just talking so loud. And I can't stand that. And so that's going to bring me to my first point, is that, um, I feel like certain things during the movie you shouldn't do. Like, for example, talking, laughing, being on your phone. That's annoying because what if your light shines and you can't see the good part? Because, you know, movie theaters get pretty dark. and Or maybe the screen's going to be really light and you want to see a certain part. And it's too distracting because you got your light on or you want to tweet your friend you just spoke to like two minutes ago for some odd reason. And that's just annoying. And it's rude to people. Another um, problem that I have seen is people showing up late. Now, I know I can be late for certain stuff, but when you're late to like a play or something, um, the door is like, you know, when you walk into the door, you know they slam. So like some folks will walk in, they'll slam the door and I'm like, y'all, we, we know you late, but you ain't got to make it that obvious. I just think that's rude because you know it starts at a certain time. Why would you show up? Um. 15 minutes late and then gonna make all this noise um another thing i want to talk about also too is eating during a play they tell you not to i feel like everybody has done this during a play or a movie or whatever they'll just be eating i've done it multiple times i don't want to admit that but we're not about to get in that but um i know i ate during a play or movie one time i snuck in taco bell that wasn't the smartest idea nor was it right but I don't do it anymore but um I just feel like certain plays if it tells you not to eat don't bring food in y'all like that's rude because especially some folks when they eat bring in food they don't like to clean up after themselves I don't know but um this brings me to my second question um has theater etiquette changed over the years and I feel like it has because new technologies come in like I said with texting and tweeting and instagramming and snapchatting and facebooking messagerying um i just feel that um back then obviously like my grandparents mom dad they didn't have all that back in the day so base um basically that was kind of like an x factor meaning um plays and stuff didn't have to worry about somebody having their tweet go off in the middle of a play or having their notification go off on their phone because you know they just didn't have phones back then but um since technology's here i feel like etiquette had a, they had to change the rules a little bit now what certain plays is bring me to, to answer my third question now certain plays you may go to they may want you to eat and you can bend the rules a little bit I know, like I said, some obviously movie theaters and um, some plays, they'll allow you to eat, but most of the time when you go to stuff like that in a really nice theater or anything, they don't want you to eat in there. Just for a simple fact is, you know, some folks just dirty up the place. And also, too, um, some plays encourage you to talk back to, um, not talk back to the cast members, but you're kind of interactive with the cast members, so they kind of encourage you to talk a little bit, but not to the point where you're just like having a full-blown conversation with your best friend over there but those are my thoughts on theater etiquette we should respect it more and um it varies depending on where you go somebody in atlanta may theater in atlanta may do something different than a theater in seoul south korea we just don't know but um theater etiquette overall should be respected no matter where you go but bye guys might get ready for work drink my power rate.